Hey there everyone, Omega Snake here, and this is a box request from Neo Metal Sonic, a longtime fan of my channel, and he wants to know how to beat the Black Knight himself, King Arthur, specifically the rematch in Avalon. Now the reason why this is an edited video is that this boss can be pretty short, and I want to make sure I cover everything without trying to rush through it. The only preparation that I might recommend is a defense boost, so that you can take more hits before having to start the fight over. Other than that, feel free to use whatever you feel like, as it doesn't matter much for this fight. Style doesn't matter either, since all you need is the ability to attack while moving and the surge. Now with all that out of the way, let's fight the knight, starting with his attacks and how to avoid them. You shall regret the day you ever raised your sword against me. The first one is when he shoots out pink lightning from his sword, Death Caliber. It's pretty easy to dodge, just move left or right when the lightning is getting close to you and it won't hit you. But even if it does, you won't lose any rings from it. It will just paralyze you for a second and he will get further away. Which rolls into his next attack, a huge charge attack that he only does if he gets far enough away. It takes up a lot of the road, but it's easy to dodge. Just stay to the left or right of the road and he won't hit you since he doesn't home in on you. He just goes straight through the middle of the road. Next is this attack where he puts his arm and sword through a dark portal and tries to slash you. Oh, uh, so that's where Gargos learned that trick. Anyway, he'll slash downwards three times before stopping, so just dodge left or right, or jump to avoid it if you get trapped against a wall. His last attack is when he summons a bunch of orbs of darkness from his hand, which he will then home in on you. However, it's this attack that you really want him to use, since this is when you will be able to attack him. Let's finish this off once and for all! Onward Sonic, Knight of the Wind! When he uses this attack, wait for them to get close and then slash them with your sword. They will turn orange and then home in on him and hit him. Unfortunately, this alone will not damage him at all. You're gonna have to get close to him with Surge to actually damage him with your sword. But as you can see right here, using Surge alone isn't gonna do anything since his horse can run just as fast, unless you are already really close when you use it. The best and fastest way to get close is that as soon as you turn the orbs orange, activate Surge! The orbs will cause hits done on him and will slow him down for a second. And when it comes to Sonic, a second is all he needs to close the gap. Then as soon as you get close enough, a slash quick time event will trigger where you have to match the timing of Arthur's attacks, which is just a steady tempo of slashes. Once you've beaten back all of his slash attacks, go all Omni Slash on this guy and swing that Wii Remote as fast as you can. However, that is not enough to put him down for good, and you will be pushed away after a few seconds of slashing. You seem to have improved a bit. Oh yeah? Or maybe it's just because you're getting worn out! Now the second phase begins, and Arthur may be injured, but he is certainly not beaten, as all of his attacks change how they work in this second phase. His lightning attack now throws out multiple bolts, but the strategy is the same. Just keep going left and right to dodge them. His charge attack gets a big change though, as not only does he now charge twice, but he will also throw dark orbs in a zigzag pattern, and hitting these will not do anything as you can't hit him out of this attack. So just jump over them and keep to the left or right, as he will still only charge down the middle of the road. His portal slash is also a lot different from before. Instead of slashing straight down, he will now slash in an X formation, and it is a little harder to dodge left and right. However, if you stay just under where his arm is, you will not get hit as long as you continue to run in a straight line. And lastly, his orbs of darkness no longer home in on you, but will fall to the ground in a zigzag pattern, meaning you won't hit as many and can't hit stun him as long, but that's no problem if you use Surge as soon as you clear a line through his attack. He will still get stunned long enough to close the gap. Once you are able to catch up to him, it's the time for another slash quick time event. Be careful though, it's a lot trickier than before since not only will he throw some faster ones, but he will also delay two of his attacks to throw you off. And if you swing too early or too late, you will fail the quick time event and take some damage. The only advice I have for this quick time event is do not watch for the wheel remote symbol. There isn't much time to react when it appears. Instead, watch his death caliber. It will glow when he is about to attack and gives a bigger window to react to it. Once you've beaten this quick time event, go all Omni Slash one more time and Arthur will fall. And that's all there is to this fight. Like I said at the start, this fight can be pretty short, especially once you get the hang of this fight and want to go for a 5 star rank. Just remember not to get hit if you want that 5 star. 
Well, I hope this helps you out, Neo Metal Sonic, and anyone else who is struggling with King Arthur, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the game. And remember, if you want to help me out, I have a link to my Patreon in the description below, as well as links to my social media. Good luck with the rest of your adventure, guys. This is Omega Snake signing out. See you guys next time.